Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today I'm going to show you how I plant my fake flowers in pots. And they look pretty real when I get done. So stay tuned and see what I'm going to do. show you what I've done. I'm using uh, flowers from the Dollar Tree and flowers from Walmart. That's all I can get right now anyway. But I'm trying to choose things that is most realistic as I can. So what I'm going to show you is I started out with a Dollar Tree basket. It's in the cheap uh, just baskets that they have. I thought this one looked pretty real. It looks pretty good. And then I've already had some but they have them at the Dollar Tree and that's these uh, uh, coconut fiber fillers. Now you can get them and put them in the hanging baskets, which is fine. You can do that as well. I just wanted something a little bit different just to sit around. And I'm placing it inside of it like this so that it will keep um, my soil from falling out. And the reason I'm using soil is because I want this to be heavy so the wind doesn't just blow it around. I could use the green floral foam and stick my flowers in it but then outside the wind will pick it up and blow it all over so we don't want to do that so this is what it looks like i just grabbed dirt it doesn't have to be anything fancy because you're not using it to grow anything you're using it just to be weighted so it's got rocks and everything in here you know and that's okay it weighs it down and that's what we want to do so let me show you some flowers here look at these aren't those apps look at that color they are amazing I got these at Walmart three bunches of them that's all they had left and they were clearance for 75 cents a bunch I grabbed them while grabbing was good on those they're gorgeous and then the other thing are these plants from Walmart okay and I don't know if you can see it in the price tag here let's see if it'll pick it up there I don't know if it's doing it Anyway, they're 97 cents. Oh, yeah, I had it upside down for you. No, it doesn't even show it on this one. Some of them have the price on it and some of them don't. Here's one. This one has the price on it. Let's try it a little bit better. See, they're 97 cents at Walmart. And these are maybe not quite as big as the ones at Hobby Lobby's, but they're really close, close enough. And for 97 cents versus seven, hey, to me, you got two dollars here for one that's seven dollars at Hobby Lobby's. Worth it, I think. All right, so, and then on there, <clears throat> and these ones are a dollar forty-seven at Walmart. It's a lavender. I only grabbed one. I was thinking I had more at home, and I didn't, after all. Okay, and then we're going to uh, Dollar Tree. Oh, here's another Walmart one also for a dollar forty-seven. It's just a really pretty little flower. And then the rest of them are actually from Dollar Tree. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. And then like these nice pretty little yellow ones here. And then I picked up these. They're kind of like a lavender type of one, kind of. So I thought these were beautiful. And they have them in pink. And they also had them in yellow. And then I wanted some red flowers because I'm trying to match my other red. And then here's another style yellow. So I have a nice variety of flowers here. So I thought we would just start by showing you how to make this arrangement. First of all, cut off all your tags. And I guess I should have already pre-done that, but because uh, I really kind of get bored watching people pull tags off of things so bear with me because I didn't do it first <laughs> so you're gonna spread them out like this all right and we're gonna go one at an angle out this way and we'll grab another one we'll see if this tears better than it would oh it did it tore quicker all right we're gonna use three of them at this type of angle at uh, at different make a triangle wedge with them okay and uh, and the same with this, spread it all out. 
And the reason you want the greenery is because that's what actually makes it look real when you get done planting the flowers. Without them, you just see a bunch of flowers. So the greenery is what bases and anchors it. And then here's one more. So we're gonna do a total of four in here. So this one goes straight down the middle. So now, as you can see, and they're all spread out, it's just a nice big full basket of greenery. It looks very, very pretty. Then you just wanna choose your style from there. Oh, and I meant to say, you want some nippers. You don't have to be needle nose, but they have the cutting edge right here. And you wanna be able to cut that. So I may cut these and I may not, depending how tall they really are. Actually, these are gonna go great. Okay, I'm gonna spread these out, leave the tallest one in the middle, and let's take care of that tag as well. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And I'm gonna spread the others out. So I don't know if you can see it so far. There's a nice little start here. And where'd my center bush go? I don't want to lose it from being in the middle. I'm just trying to um, make sure the flower is in the middle, but I don't want to lose my greenery and pushing them all down. See, isn't that looking very pretty? Then I have also this lavender, which I am really going to wish I'd have bought more. And I didn't. And I'm going to spread these out also because these are really pretty fillers. And I'm gonna also go in the middle with this, right next to the one I just put in, and I'm gonna try to nestle them in such a way that they kinda spread out and make for a really beautiful flower bouquet. Now, I think that really is gorgeous. Now, I think we need some pink, all right? But these pink ones, I happen to know. See, if I just stuck those in, well, the center ones would be okay. I actually don't mind that, but I'm gonna use more than just one in the center. So here, I gotta cut my thing off. So this one, I like how it looked, again, right in the middle, and just let it poke straight up, and, because flowers don't grow evenly when they're in the Y, or, you know, the real flowers are not gonna grow totally evenly. So let's take another Okay, let's cut off the tag on this one as well. I am sorry, I should have taken these already off. Oh well. Now, I'm gonna use my wire cutters and I am going to push all the leaves up to the flowers. So they're out of my way, but I'm gonna now just cut off all the stems of flowers here, down low. So I'm getting the whole I don't know if you can see me or not. It's kind of awkward up in the air like this. And, but I'll show you. And I'm just cutting them. See, I'm trying to show you how I did this a flower arrangement in real time as well. Okay, come on, let's cut. There we go. And uh, just want a good pair of wire cutters. All right. So now I'm gonna take all my yellow, I mean my pink flowers that I just cut, and I am now going to start placing them in further out or lower areas. And I put them at an angle in the dirt. And the dirt is gonna hold these into place. And it looks really quite beautiful. It looks, it's starting to take on a really pretty shape. I don't know if you can see it in the camera very well, but how pretty it's beginning to look. And don't forget to turn it as you're doing it. Well, let's now put in a little bit of the purple because my colors is going to be pinks and, oh, that one tore nicely. Pinks and purples and uh, yellows and reds. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in. Now these, I did put these little peonies. I think those are peonies, which are truthfully not really a flower you would see in a hanging basket. But by themselves like this, they might represent a different type of flower that you would see hanging in a basket. And so I am making it a flower arrangement, I'll grant you. But uh, we're uh, gonna try to make it look really pretty and look like it's growing naturally. So we'll just put these in where we think they'll show and grow the most beautiful as possible. 
And where would this one be? Probably right about there. That's beautiful. Now let's go ahead and take some more of the yellow ones. I like these flowers because they kind of look like lavender and yet they're different colors than what lavender is. And so I think they're beautiful. Well, this one's being stubborn. <laughs> eh, started to come off and then it tore. Well, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna worry about getting all of that off because I don't think you need to stand here watching me spend all of this time pulling that off. Besides the fact you probably won't see it once I get it in anyway. And actually this one, I think I'm gonna put a tall one up to the center as well, just like the first pink one. And I'll just place it to the side of it, but up in the middle, and just let it grow in a more of a, a wild, kind of like these are just the shooting ones and you have this lower ones. And then I do want some more yellow, like I did the purple. And so we're gonna cut these now. And this isn't gonna take very long to do this arrangement. And then of course you choose the flowers you love. Um, I'm happen to just be liking these colors and this style. Uh, other years I've used much different flowers. And I am finding that the smaller textured flowers seem to be looking really quite more realistic, I would say, than uh, some of the other flowers. So again, okay, I should just be turning this so I can see where I really need to place it. But we're going to just put them in. And see, they just add a little extra something that, uh, in color. And I think they look pretty amazing. I like how they look anyway. <laughs> and I think they have a, a very realistic feel to it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But now I have red. Okay, that one's not coming off. So sometimes take the flower off, pull the tag off and then put the flower back on. Very simple. Let's put this one up the middle as well. See, now I'm using some red because I am trying to balance my red pillows and uh, the red geraniums from the other side of the yard. And I'm just going to bring them in. Now I only have one more of my red, so I'm going to have to go get more of these. And uh, make it or other arrangements in the yard. But, uh, so now these ones, I'm gonna cut. Now you can leave them as bushes and just stick them wherever you want to in there, but I find if you don't cut them, um, sometimes they just don't look natural. They just look like a bush you just stuck in there. And it's harder to get them the right height or get them to where they would kind of look more, in a way, how they would grow. So let's stick this one over here. And we're just putting it down in the dirt. And hopefully you can see how beautiful it really is. But it sure makes for a, a pretty display. Where would this one be the best? Get about right in here. All right. So, I don't know what you think of my arrangement here. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to make sure my greenery looks realistic. And there you go. Look how pretty that is. And I'm going to just be setting these like on my coffee table or something. I think it looks very, very, very beautiful. And we don't want to have to water it now. <laughs> We don't have to water it now. I think that's what's the fun thing is. This will remain absolutely gorgeous throughout the remaining of this season. And you have a beautiful arrangement that you can look at. And if it rains on it, it's really not going to hurt it. Just remember to bring them in at the end of fall or September before the bad weather starts coming. 
because the bad weather is what really crushes them down. Now, I heard a tip yesterday from someone at Walmart when I was there. Um, he does the same thing. <laughs> I was blown away. And he says he actually gets just cheap hairspray and sprays all those flowers with hairsprays and it helps to keep it from um, sh fading. Well, I didn't buy any. I forgot. I was going to go get some and do it and I forgot to do it. So I don't know if that works or not, but he said it works great. So try that. Get some hairspray, spray all your flowers with it, and it's supposed to help keep them from fading. Who knows? Maybe it works. Maybe you just need a clear shellac. I don't know, but I think this is really pretty. So I've got the red that I'm pulling in with my for my pillows. And then I just seem to like the pink, the purples, and the yellows just to kind of, because I have yellows also in my flowers. Oh, I don't think you can see my pillow over there with the flowers in it. But that's all right. This is how beautiful. You know what flowers are pillows I'm talking about. This one here, the one I bought and had trying out on my mat on my bed, and I said, oh, it was going out in the yard anyway, but I was just doing it as an example of different things you could do. Look how it goes with this. The reds color kind of goes with this, and then, of course, the yellows go with it. And then, of course, all the green goes with the green, and all the other colors, I mean, the peonies seem to go with this. So it's just really a really pretty arrangement to go with this. I think it looks really nice. Let me put the pillow back. And I have another arrangement that I had made back there in the corner um, beside the, the bench. So I hope this is something that you really will like and enjoy. I think it's pretty. Now I'll show it to you when I put it where I'm going to put it. So stay tuned and watch that, okay? Okay, I just put it on this coffee table. I think it looks really pretty, especially with the pillows behind it and the other arrangement. And see how it just goes? I think it's so absolutely beautiful. So I just wanted to show it to you. This is how it turned out. I think it looks really pretty. You know, you can also take some of the greenery and bend the wire so some of them hang down. And in fact, that would be a, a wise thing to do because it then helps create a uh, more realistic look because some of the flowers really would be hanging down like that. So anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoy how this arrangement looks. I hope you liked what I was able to show you on uh, just making your fake flowers into beautiful outdoor plants. Uh, I think they're beautiful and I hope it uh, inspired you if you're just one that doesn't, uh, these are like black thumbs instead of green thumbs, you know, <laughs> if you are like that, maybe this way you can spend the money and have it for a couple of years instead of one time and then they die in the winter and then you have to buy them again next year and then you have to spend all that time flower i mean with the flowers watering them and all of and this way you make them once and you just come out and enjoy them you don't have to deal with them maybe it's the lazy gardener in me but i'm a decorator not really a gardener but i do love the flowers and all the beauty of things so i'm hoping i've inspired you to Think of a different way to make a beautiful yard, and it really doesn't cost a lot. I mean, all of these, all of these things were the dollar store, 75 cents, and you know, 97 cent things. You know, I mean, why not? It's it's beautiful, and it works, and yeah, it's cheating. But some of us, that's the only way we're gonna enjoy beautiful flowers. Now, I can be okay if they're planted in the ground. I somewhat can grow those at least a little bit, but in planters, oh, forget it. I kill them. That's just where I am. So anyway, I hope this has inspired all of you to think outside the box of real flowers and to how you can make fake ones look real for the summer outside. So you all, thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed to me, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell so you know when I am going to bring out another uh, video, which Speaking of, look for mine on Sunday. It's our alternative church. But anyway, I just want to say thank you again for watching. You all take care and God bless and happy decorating.